Kate from California Carnivores and today I am in a very special place. I am just off the coast of North Carolina and I'm here looking for a plant that you can find nowhere else on earth except this part of the world. And that plant is the Venus flytrap. And you can see it, it's growing right here. And this is the only place on earth that it grows just within a hundred mile radius of Wilmington, North Carolina. The Venus flytrap is a carnivorous plant with modified leaves that catch and devour its prey. Inside these two lobes here are little trigger hairs and when an insect lands in there and touches the trigger hairs in rapid succession it closes on its prey and there are little glands inside that actually secrete digestive enzymes and absorb the prey. In their native habitat Venus flytraps are threatened to extinction and are extremely vulnerable. So why be carnivorous? Well, the habitat that they grow in is actually very nutrient poor. So if you're capturing your nutrients, then you have an advantage here. And carnivorous plants do just that. The prey that they capture is like their fertilizer that they can't get from the soils here. So these open pine savannas do just that. They're nutrient poor areas where rainwater collects and the ground is perennially wet. Perfect conditions for carnivorous plants and lots of other rare plants. Longleaf pine savannas also rely on frequent wildfires. Fire not only allows the pine cones to release their seed, it also clears brush that would otherwise compete for sunlight in low-lying plants like the Venus flytrap. You hear the rain on my umbrella? It's those frequent rains that keep these soils perennially wet and also keep the minerals in the soil from building up and allowing these carnivorous plants to thrive here. Other carnivorous plants that grow with Venus flytraps are things like sundews, which have tentacles with sticky dew on the ends that capture prey when they land on it. Even butterworts live here. This is Pinguicula lutea, and it has little carnivorous leaves down here with a sticky surface that catches insects. Look at that, and it's in flower. These are all butterworts. Here we have the carnivorous pitcher plant, Saracenia flava. And growing right next to it, another species of Saracenia. This is Saracenia purpurea. These grow in abundance here. Other rare plants that depend on this type habitat are things like terrestrial orchids like this grass pink orchid or calipogon. When you're ready. Flytraps have an extremely narrow range to begin with but with fire suppression, land development, and even poaching conservation efforts are essential. So do your part and spread awareness of the Venus flytrap so that future generations can enjoy this wonderful plant. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Venus flytrap as much as I did. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us.